Hey guys, welcome back to Bumbling Panda and to the fourth week in our 10 dresses in 10 weeks summer sewing series. Today we're going to be making this sleeveless lace gathered waistline dress. So let's get started. For this project, I'm using two different types of fabric, a jet set knit for the lining and lace fabric for the actual dress. I'm going to be using one and a half yards of each fabric, but it really depends on how tall you are. Um, so starting out with the lining fabric, I'm cutting out a basic tank top shape and I'm cutting out two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. I folded it in half and evened out any rough edges. Next, I'm going to take one piece of the bodice and fold it in half and drop the neckline. This will be my front piece. With the lining fabric that I just cut out as a guide, I'm going to cut out the exact same pieces in the lace fabric. You have to do this with both the front and back pieces, of course. Making sure that the lining and the lace fabric are placed together, right sides together, I'm going to pin the lining to the lace fabric at the neckline and the armholes. Next, I'm going to sew the lining to the lace fabric at the neckline and the armholes. Of course, I do this to both the front and back piece of the bodice. So next, I'm going to cut out the exact shape in lace fabric of the back piece using the lining as a guide. Then making sure that the pieces are facing right sides together, I'm going to pin and sew the lining of the dress to the lace fabric at the neckline and the armholes. After that, I trimmed off any excess seam allowance and I'm going to take one piece of the bodice and flip it right side out. You'll notice that using this method, the neckline and armholes will already be finished. I'm going to flip the other piece right side out as well and then place the two pieces right sides facing and pin and sew the shoulders and side seams. Now it's time to cut this skirt, and I cut mine much wider than the bodice. It depends on how much you want your skirt to be gathered or flared. For the lace part of my skirt, I cut it 3 inches wider and 3 inches longer than the lining so that the lining doesn't show and so that the lace part will be slightly more flared. Then I folded the lining in half right sides facing and sewed down one side seam. I also do the same to the lace fabric. Folded it in half right sides together and sewed down the seam. Next I place the lace inside the lining so that the right sides of both are facing each other and I'm going to pin the lining to the lace fabric. Since my lace is a little bit wider than the lining, I'm going to have to stretch the lining a little bit as I sew the two pieces together. Next, I cut a piece of elastic that fits my waist exactly and sew the ends together. Next, I pinned the elastic to the waistline of the skirt, trying to even it out as much as possible. When I sew the elastic to the skirt, I stretch the elastic as I sew. Then I flip the skirt inside out and insert the bodice into the skirt so that the right sides are facing. Me. 
Next, I pinned the bodice to the skirt, and then I'm going to sew the bodice to the skirt. Since there's only one seam of the skirt, I'm going to make sure it's at the back of the bodice. The last step is to hem the bottom, but since I cut the skirt on the salvage of the fabric, I didn't have to do that. So that's it, you're done, and this is what the dress looks like. I hope you guys like it. If you happen to make it, please send me pictures. I will see you next Tuesday for the next dress tutorial. Please don't forget to visit my blog, bumblingpanda.com. See you guys next time. Bye!